Hello and welcome to this uh, physics GCSE test. So in this particular test, you can try and do the 46 questions all by yourself and it'll give you a good understanding afterwards what your strengths and weaknesses in physics actually is, which is, and there's no harm in that at all. Um, and in our next follow-up class, we'll be going through all the questions individually and explaining the details to you. Or what you could do is you can actually do some research question by question, if you like, before you actually answer these questions as well. So the choice is yours. But let's just have a look at the first question together. So electricity can be supplied with a direct current or an alternating current. The mains electricity supply in UK homes uses an alternating current. Electricity can be supplied with a direct current or an alternating current. The mains electricity supply in UK homes uses an alternating current. What is an alternating current? Choose the correct option. So an alternating current is a current that repeatedly changes direction. So the reason why we have alternating currents as opposed to, as opposed to direct current is mainly because um, the alternating current has current which it goes back and forth as opposed to a direct current, which only goes in one direction only. Now, alternating currents have advantages because they can go much further distances and longer distances. So if you're making, uh, let's say 50 houses, brand new houses, then that alternating current can actually go back and forth within those particular houses at a much greater distance. And it's more economical, which means it's uh, cheaper as opposed to direct current which cannot go as far as alternating current. And at the same time, it's much more expensive. Okay, so good luck with the rest of the questions and hopefully we'll touch base in our next lesson. Thank you.